Okay, in this uh, little video, we're gonna try to address the idea of Hess's law. So Hess's law is uh, an important law to be able to help calculate some enthalpies of reactions that we might not be able to ever measure using a calorimeter. Maybe the reaction takes too long, maybe uh, it's not uh, endothermic or exothermic enough to be able to calculate, or perhaps there are some um, byproducts that are produced, so we can't actually do a proper stoichiometric calculation because it's not a, um, the coefficients aren't predictive. But Hess's law is based, uh, based on the conservation of energy. So basically, if we're conserving our energy and the same reactants and the same products are used, so the reactants are used, and the products are formed, then the same net bonds are broken or made. And the key here is net. So we can, let's say we had an endothermic reaction. I've got my reactants here and I need to break their bonds so it takes some energy. And then I'm going to make new uh, products. So there shouldn't be a reaction arrow there. And so this is an endothermic reaction. So this is gonna be a positive value of energy. Um, but if I wanted to, I could have made, done a different reaction and then done another reaction to get back here. And the net change in energy would be the same because the extra energy I used here and the extra energy I got back here cancel each other out. So the net is the same. And so long as I've got the same reactants and the same product, it doesn't matter what reaction pathway I'm using because we're going to um, cancel a bunch of things out. So there's a basic concept behind Hess's law is that the conservation of energy allows us to derive what an enthalpy of a reaction is even if it's not possible to directly calculate. So we have an example from the textbook that we're gonna do. And this question, so it's on page um, 504 in your textbook, and it's asking what is the standard molar enthalpy of formation of butane? And then they gave us several reaction enthalpies here. So this is given information, and we're gonna use it. And typically they only give you the information you need to be able to calculate it. So the enthalpy of formation of butane would be so carbon and hydrogen gas are going to form butane, C4H10, and it's a gas, and we wanna know its enthalpy. Well, so if I know these reactions, I can manipulate them to come out with this net reaction. Now this isn't balanced, so I have to balance it. This is gonna be a four and this is gonna be a five. But each of these reactions that I've got here, I'm going to be able to adjust so I get the same reactants and products here. Now, one of the things you have to do is trust the process here, because if you get excited about trying to cancel things out until you've organized everything, you're gonna get very frustrated. So what I do is I go to my first reaction and I say, well, this looks like a suspicious chemical here, right? So if this, butane is in the reactants and it's got a coefficient of one. I want one butane in the products. I could get this into the products by reversing this reaction. So if I have four carbon dioxide gas and five water vapor, I can make butane gas and 13 half oxygens, but the enthalpy of this is gonna be the opposite so it's not gonna be negative, it's gonna be positive, but I haven't changed the coefficients, so it's gonna be the same number because it's still one mole of this. So it's positive 2657.4 kilojoules. And then in my next reaction, I've got carbon. Well, I want carbons in the reactants and they're in the reactants, but you'll see that this is four and this is one. So what I'm gonna do is take that second reaction and I'm gonna multiply it by four four carbon solid plus four oxygen gas are gonna make four carbon dioxide. 
But if I'm going to do that, I need to multiply the energy by 4, because I've like, I got 4 moles of this. So if I do that, it gives me the same symbol. It's a negative, because it's still written the same direction. But it's going to be 4 times as big a number. So instead of it being this, it's going to be negative 393.5 times 4, which is negative 1574.0 kilojoules. And then my last reaction is going to have my water vapor. Now, I want water vapor, well, I actually want to get rid of water vapor from this reaction, right? So, and I also want hydrogens to be in my reactants. Well, I've got hydrogens in the reactants in both of these reactions. But here, you can see it's 5 and here it's 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything in this reaction by 5 halves. So I'm going to get 5 times 2 hydrogen, which is 5 hydrogen, what I want, plus 5 half oxygen. You get excited about that right now, you're going to get in trouble. So just accept that that's what it is. Then 5 halves times 2 is 5 water vapors. Well, I'm going to take this enthalpy, it's still going to be negative, but it's going to be times 5 divided by 2, because that's how many moles I multiplied through by so I get negative 1209.0 kilojoules. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel out so that I'm left with this reaction. So in this, if these are my four reactions describing this, I want to get things canceled out. I have four carbons and four carbons, so that's good. I'd like to leave that. I'd like to have my five hydrogens and five hydrogens in the reactants. So those I want to leave. But I've got four carbon dioxides here and here. So if I'm using four carbon dioxides and making four carbon dioxides, they cancel out. And then I've got five water vapor here, and I've got five water vapor here. I'm using these and making these. So they cancel out. The last one that I get is my oxygens, because I want to have this but I have to take care of my oxygens. This is where people tend to get a bit excited. But if you look, eight oxygen, or four oxygens, is going to be eight over two oxygens, plus five over two oxygens, and eight halves plus five halves equals 13 half oxygens. So this and this cancel out 13 half oxygens, and it leaves me with four carbon solid, plus five hydrogen gas makes my butane, which is the reaction that I wanted to derive here. And the enthalpy of this is going to be the sum of these energies, which ends up being negative 125.6 kilojoules. And essentially, all I've done is written my reaction that I want to prove, then rearranged each of the reactions given to me, adjusting the energy for what I do. If I flip it, I change the symbol. If I multiply through by a number, then I multiply the energy by that same number. And then I cancel everything out that is the same in the reactants and products, and I rewrite the equation. And this is my answer for the enthalpy, right? And this is for one mole of this. So if it asks for molar enthalpy, it'd be the formation enthalpy of butane equals negative 125.6 kilojoules, but that's per mole of butane, so per one mole. And that's the, how you get to the final part of this question. Hess's law is going to make and use different reactions to derive the enthalpy of a different reaction.